Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the agility program here in the main arena. I'm just going to give you a quick explanation of what is about to happen. This is the small circular knockout. So we have two dogs on the course at the same time, and it's basically a race of one against the other. So I suggest you pick one dog as they come into the arena and you shout like mad to encourage them, because promise me, the louder you shout, the faster they go. So they're going to start, one dog is going to start here and one dog is going to start over there. And they're literally going to follow the course round through the weave poles, out over the jump, right the way around the outside of the arena. And basically, it's the first dog back with the least number of faults that is going to win. It's a knockout competition, so that means that the one that's back quickest gets through to the next round. And believe me, it gets very, very exciting towards the end of the competition. So we have two dogs and two handlers, and for that we need two judges. So please, a big welcome for our two judges, Lynn Shaw and Tom Vandelaar. Okay, so our first two handlers are Claire Snell and Debbie Cookson. We've got a Jack Russell Terrier against a miniature Poodle Cross. And they're ready to go in. So the miniature Poodle is Bert. Debbie, give us a wave. That's Debbie and that's Bert. And we've got Claire and Beanie. Claire, give us a wave. So, the terrier against the poodle cross. Who's it going to be? Like I said, you have to shout as loud as you can. So our judges are going to start them off with a whistle. Okay, and we're off. Who's going to hit the tunnel first? It's Bert the poodle, and he's through the tire over the A-frame. We've got Beanie who's just completed the weaves, come on. I think that Bert's slightly in front. Oh no, Bert had a, a slight decoy there. Over the A-frame. Oh, and it's Bert. Looks like it could be back first, but we have to check with the judges. With, okay, Bert, the terrier poodle cross goes through. Well done. Okay, so next in the arena, we have Lee and Pip. Lee, can you give us a wave so we know who you are? That's Lee and Pip. And Joe and Weasel. Joe is over on that side. So, here we go. Weasel looks very keen there. He's going to go off to a flying start, I'm sure. So, Pip's waiting for the whistle, and they're off. I think Pip was into the tunnel first. Weasel's into the weaves, pips over the A-frame. Down to the tunnel, come on. Weasel's into the tunnel this side, but pips already through those weave poles. Come on, cheer, ladies and gentlemen. It makes them go faster, oh! And Pip just passed the start line first there, and Pip goes through to the next round. Okay, so this is Arthur Reed and Penny. Give us a wave, Arthur. That's Arthur. I'm sure you can tell the difference between Arthur and Sue, but it does just help us. Uh, and Sue Luther on the other side with Bo. And Bo is a Papillon cross Jack Russell. So Arthur is running Penny the crossbreed. So we're under starter's orders, and we're off. And Penny's into the tunnel. It looks like Penny's just over the A-frame a little bit quicker. Bo's still going through the weeds. Come on, Sue. Come on, Bo. Penny's catching you up. Penny through those weed balls. Come on, Sue. Go on, Bo. Over the A-frame. Who's it going to be? Is it Penny? Is it Bo? Oh, it's close. Oh, who's it going to be? And Arthur and Penny go through to the next round. Wow. 
Okay. So, if Jeanette can get into the ring, <laughs> Betsy seems to want to go backwards. This is Betsy Boo, Jeanette Tandy and Betsy. Um, Jeanette, can you give us a wave? No, she can't. That's the one that looks like a, a collie with short legs. And we've got Tracy Yanyard on the other side with Tigger, who's a little crossbreed. So, Betsy against Tigger. And we're ready. And we're off. So, Betsy on this side into the tunnel. Tigger's through and out into those wee pots. Betsy's over the A-frame. Tigger's still going through those wee pots. Come on, Tigger. Come on, down through into the tunnel. Betsy's going through the weeds. Who's it going to be? Tigger's over the A-frame. And Betsy's coming back into the middle. Oh, oh big round of applause. And Betsy goes through. Wow. Well done, Jeanette. <laughs> well done, Tracy. Okay, so next in the middle, we have Selena Bray and Shade. Give us a wave, Selena. There you go, that's Selena and Shade, the miniature poodle. And David and Otis on the other side, also a miniature poodle. So here we go, we're on the starter's orders. Okay, poodle against poodle, who's it going to be? Otis is in the tunnel, so Shade. Otis is making his way through those weave poles. Shade has completed the A-frame. It's neck and neck at the moment. Shade's into the tunnel, so is Otis. Shades out the other side through the weave poles. Otis is up and over the apron. Come on, it's close. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, that was very close, very close indeed. It's our judge's decision and it's Otis that goes through. Well done, David. Okay, so. We have two terrier crosses in the ring now. We've got Des Cuffley with Fudge. Oh, oh, they came in with the wrong dogs. Can you believe it? That happens a lot. Okay, so Des, can you give us a wave? That's Des, that's Fudge. And Wendy has got Cruz on this side of the arena. So we're under starter's orders. Are we ready? Got the right dogs? Perfect. And we're off. Okay, so it's Fudge against Cruz. They're both in the tunnel, they're both out the other side. Fudge is through the weave poles. Come on, Fudge, come on, Cruz. Cruz is going into those weave poles. Just got a fault in the weave there, Mr. Pole. But it's Fudge. Fudge is coming into the centre of the arena. Oh, little bit of sabotage there, I think. How can you work under these conditions, Wendy, eh? There you go. A big round of applause for Wendy and Cruz. And Fudge and Dez go through to the next round. OK, so next we have Fiona McClellan and Snug. Fiona, I think, may come from Scotland. And we've got Lisa Jones and Jake the Jack Russell Terrier. So we're under starter's orders. Oh, someone's keen. Oh, hang on a minute. We've got to wait for the judges to let you go. OK, now you can go. OK, so it's Snug and Jake. Jake's into the weave poles. Snug's up and over the A-frame, but picking up five balls. Snug's going, powering into that tunnel. We've got Jake in the tunnel, through the tyre, approaching the A-frame. Oh, just picking up five balls there. And Snug is coming back into the arena. Big round of applause for Jake and Lisa. And it's uh, Fiona and Snug that go through to the next round. Okay, so the next couple of handers are Christine Stratford and Poppet. Can you give us a wave, Christine? That's Christine. 
with Poppet and Edith and Daisy on the other side. So, we're under starter's orders. And we're off. And Poppet is coming round into the tunnel. Poppet goes into the tunnel first. Daisy's approaching the wings on the other side. Poppet's over that A-frame. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, I can't hear you. They're in the tunnel. Poppet's out and into the wings. Come on, Daisy. Come on, Edith. Up and over the A-frame, and it's Poppet that's approaching the centre of the arena. But was it clear? Was it clear? And Poppet and Christine go through to the next round. That was the last pair of this round. So you're now going to see dogs that you've already seen. So we're into the second round. So you'll, as you, you'll notice, actually, as this competition goes on, the handlers get more and more knackered because they have to keep coming back in and having another go. So we're just sorting out who's against who. OK, so we've seen them before. We've got Lee and Pip. Give us a wave, the miniature poodle. And we've got Bert. No, we haven't, because that one went out. That is Bert. I do apologise. That's Bert and Debbie on the far side. So. Bert the Terrier Poodle and Pip the Poodle. Okay, here we go. And we're off. So, who's going to get into the tunnel first? It's Pip. Pip has a slight edge. Bert is into those wee poles. Pip's over the A-frame and approaching the tunnel on the far side. Come on, Bert. Down to that tunnel. Oh, unfortunately, the wrong end of the tunnel. But he doesn't know he's going to keep going. And it's Pip that comes into the centre of the arena first. It's our judge's decision. And it's Pip that goes through. OK, so Pip goes through to the next round. And coming back into the ring, we've got Jeanette Tandy and Betsy. And Arthur and Penny. Oh, yeah, make sure you got the right jump there. That's the next one. Okay, so Betsy and Penny, we're under starter's orders. And we're off. Come on, Penny and Betsy. Betsy's into the tunnel. Penny's approaching the wheel pole. Betsy's over the A-frame. Penny's out of the wheel pole, but it's Betsy that's looking a little bit quicker. She's in through those wheel poles. Uh, Penny's over the A-frame, it's going to be neck and neck, come on, oh! Be sorry, Penny lost her way a little bit there, missed out the jump, so it goes to Betsy. And Betsy goes through to the next round. Okay, next, back in the arena we have David and Otis. That's the Poodle, and Des and Fudge, the Cairn Cross Bordier Terrier on this side of the arena. So, our judges are ready, we're under starter's orders. And we're off, so it's Fudge versus Otis. And they're neck and neck as they go into the tunnel. Otis is coming out of the weave, but Fudge has the slight edge into the tunnel, slightly quicker than Otis, and through those weave poles. Otis is up and over the A-frame, it's neck and neck, come on, come on, who's going to be the ball? Oh! It was down to the wire. Oh, big decision. Oh, it's Otis, the miniature poodle that goes through to the next round. Goodness me. Wow. Exciting stuff. Okay, so we have Christine Stratford and Poppet and Fiona and Snug. So here we go. And we're off. So it's Poppet versus Snug. And they're neck and neck as they go into the tunnel. Poppet is up and over the A frame, and Snug is through those weave poles. And they're both in the long straight. Snug is up and over the A-frame. Poppet's making her way through the wee pole. Who's it going to be? Come on, it's neck and neck. Into the ring. Oh, Snug just got carried away there and wanted another go around the arena. So who's it going to be? Because they were false. It's Poppet and Christine.
Christine that go through to the next round. Gosh, doesn't this go quickly? We're already into the next round. I can't keep up. Okay, this is Jeanette Tandy and uh, Betsy and Lee and Pip. So this is the semi-final. So Betsy versus Pip. And we're under starters orders. So, and we're off. Who's gonna make it to the tunnel? It's Betsy in the tunnel, very slightly over Pip. Pip's into the wee pole. Betsy's over the A-frame and into the first straight. Betsy goes into the second tunnel first. Pip is not far behind. Betsy's making her way through those wee poles. Come on, Pip. Come on, Pip. Who's going to make it back for goal? By a hair. It was. Judge's decision is going to tell us who made it through first. And it was Betsy and Jeanette. Well done. Okay, so next. In the semi-final, we have Poppet, the terrier that's on this side of the arena versus David and Otis with the miniature poodle. So, we're under starters orders, and we're off. Okay, it's Poppet versus Otis. Otis is in the tunnel first, it's neck and neck though, into the weave poles. Poppet is over the A-frame and into the far stretch. Otis is also into the far stretch, down to the tunnel, there's not much in it at all. Poppet goes into those weave poles, Otis is over the A-frame, come on everybody! Give them a cheer, it helps. Oh, and the pool got back first, but was there any faults? Our judges are conferring, and it goes to Otis and David. Go through. So now we're running off for third and fourth place. Okay, so this is for third and fourth place, as I said. So this is Christine and Poppet versus Lee and Pip. They're probably getting oxygen, actually, just outside there, which is uh, try why they're possibly taking a while. Oh, here they come. Big round of applause, please, for Poppet and Christine and Lee and Pip. So, here we go. Poppet wants to get on with it. So, our judge is going to blow her whistle. And we're off. And it's Poppet versus Pip. And they're both into the tunnel at the same time. Pip's out through, going through those weaves. Oh, she's is... Oh, sorry. Um, Poppet is over the A-frame and into the tunnel. Pip's not far behind. Poppet's making his way through those wee poles. Is it going to be Pip? Is it going to be Poppet? Who's going to make it back? And it looks like the poodle crossed the line first. But our judges are going to confirm. And it goes to Pip and Lee. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is for the final. So this is for first and second place of the small circular knockout. So we've got Jeanette Tandy with Betsy. Versus David Wright and Otis, the miniature poodle. So we've got Otis and Betsy. So this is it. The louder you shout, the faster they go. And we're off. So Otis versus Betsy. Betsy dropped a pole. So Otis is over the A-frame. Betsy's on by fault, but she's through those wee poles. Otis is down into the tunnel. So is Betsy. She's over the A-frame. Otis is making his way through those wee poles. Down the last straight. Come on. Oh. It's going to be down to fault. So our judges are just conferring. And our winner of the Kennel Club Small Circular Lockout is David Wright with Otis. Please stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. We will very, very shortly.
shortly be going straight to the presentation. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the presentation. Gentlemen, we're just about to do the presentation for the small circuit knock knockout. But before we go on to that, the Kennel Club would very much like to show their appreciation to our two agility judges um, that have been uh, judging all the agility here at Crufts this weekend. And um, here to make the presentation is Steve Croxford, who is on the general committee of the Kennel Club. So our big round of applause, please, for our judges, Lynn Shaw. And all the way from the Netherlands, Tom Vandelaar. Okay, so on to the presentation. In joint third place, we have Lee Harfield and Christine Stratford. In second place is Jeanette Tandy. And the winner of the Kennel Club Small Circular Lockout with Otis is David Wright. It's now lap of honour time. 